Hey guys, Blake here with another video. Today I'm going to run you through how to remove cyanobacteria. It's something that a lot of us struggle with over time and there's not that much information or it's pretty confusing so stick with me and I'll show you how to get rid of it. To get started, cyanobacteria is also known as blue-green algae. Uh, although, as we've sort of started to learn that, it's not actually an algae, it's a bacteria, which makes it really hard to get rid of. As with most algae, we can simply put in a fish that will eat that algae. While it won't treat the symptom, it will treat the algae. Uh, in this case, we can't just drop a bristlenose in because the bristlenose isn't that tempted to eat bacteria. So the first thing that people usually try to do to combat cyanobacteria, especially in the early stages, is through manual removal. So you want to get your gravel back and vacuum it off the substrate. You'll get a toothbrush and clean it off the leaves of any plants. And it's also a good idea to do a total blackout for at least three days. At which point, then also do a gravel vac of any remaining cyanobacteria. Also don't forget at this time to clean your filter because there will likely be cyanobacteria in your filter media. So there's no point cleaning it out of the aquarium itself and allowing it to, to thrive behind closed doors. I'm just doing water change so I don't want to overflow this tank. If you do that a few times and are really diligent, you might find that it will go away. However, in cases like mine, it didn't. So we need to escalate to the next step. The next option that most people explore is hydrogen peroxide. The easiest way and the safest way is to get 3% hydrogen peroxide and dose one milliliter per every four liters of aquarium. Keeping in mind that your substrate and decorations and everything else takes away from the total water volume. So it's a good idea to be conservative in this. The best way to dose the hydrogen peroxide is to turn off all the filtration and water agitation, spot dose it on the actual areas that are seeing the blue green algae, wait one hour before turning back on the filter or any circulation pumps or anything else that you've got going. You should start to see the cyanobacteria bubbling immediately, which is a good sign. And it's a good idea to wait one to two days before doing anything further. Now a lot of us are intimidated by using hydrogen peroxide because overdosing can have the potential to kill all the inhabitants in the tank. Which, if you're a little bit risk averse like I am, there are products available that will be a little bit safer and are more purpose built for this application. In my case, I had a great experience with ChemiClean. I'm not sponsored or anything like that, I just really found the product to do exactly what it said it was supposed to do. So this is a product that's actually for uh, red cyanobacteria in saltwater tanks. However, it does also treat blue-green algae as well. I had the very dark green colored cyanobacteria and it wiped it out within two days. The directions are very clear on the box with key points being to definitely aerate the tank as much as you can while you're dosing this product. I found that within even 24 hours, about 80% of the cyanobacteria was totally gone from the aquarium and the rest of it was removed 24 hours later. When you're first researching this product, ChemiClean, online, you might find that it's pretty expensive. And that's an understandable thought. However, just like Safe, it's a very concentrated product, so you'll probably only ever have to buy it once in your life. And in terms of my thoughts, I'd rather buy this once and have it forever than to be vacuuming out the blue-green algae every second day and wiping out a lot of my plants in the process. I haven't run through the use of erythromycin because it's not very available in Australia. I know that in the States at least it's a lot more accessible. So if you can get your hands on that, I've heard that's an effective cure as well. But having no experience on that, I'm not going to talk to that removal method. So now that we've talked to the three main ways to remove it once we've acquired blue-green algae, it's a good idea now to run through prevention techniques now that we've done our hard yards and got rid of it. So colder temperatures will slow down the growth rate. So if the inhabitants of your tank can survive temperatures lower than 24 degrees Celsius or 76 degrees Fahrenheit, keeping it below that will definitely help in the process of slowing down the growth of cyanobacteria. As well as that, cyanobacteria thrives in areas of low flow. So getting consistent flow around the aquarium will really help you to keep the cyano at bay. It might be a good idea to limit the amount of light you've got because 
cyanobacteria is photosynthetic despite not being an algae so limiting excess light is a great tip as well and along that line lowering the phosphates and nitrates in the aquarium can also assist and just like a lot of the problems in the aquarium hobby keeping the cleanest and highest quality water you can in the aquarium will always go a long way to assisting with many of the problems that we experience. So there you have it guys, those are my go-to tips to removing cyanobacteria. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, drop a comment below. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe and all that fun stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.